Today, I'm going to show you how to make your Adobe portfolio or other website more interactive by adding a photo slider just like this one. So I first came across this problem on the Adobe discussion forum where Marco Rams wanted to embed a before and after slider, uh, saying that he used Behance and Portfolio, but he wanted to import a slider uh, widget from Muse, which you obviously can't do because they're only available on Adobe Muse. So David Ash responds with, the fact that Portfolio is a Adobe Place platform is irrelevant. It's the same as asking how to put a 1000cc engine into a Yamaha keyboard. As Pevel says, you won't have knowledge of coding, and even then, it's unlikely you would be able to do this as the Portfolio is a closed system. The embeds are intersected as iframes, which are self-contained. Marco later goes on to state, Okay, I appreciate your answer and modify my initial question. If I wanted to add a before and after slider to my portfolio, which is a Adobe platform, how could I achieve this? Do you know? It seems that I'm only able to embed from the following. And then post the embeds list, which is available on the portfolio site. Nobody goes on to answer the question correctly in saying that there's literally no solution except for hacking. Now you are actually able to do this and it is quite simple. You don't need any knowledge of coding or anything like that. All you need is access to the internet and a Dropbox portfolio. Which so what you want to go ahead and do is click on the link that I listed below. So the link will bring you to this site from Night Labs and it is under projects juxtapost. Go ahead down, make a juxtapost. What you want to first do is either import your URL if it's from a other site and or if you don't want to be using Dropbox or you can use Dropbox because it's much simpler. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Dropbox, import the left image, go ahead choose, now import the right image. Once that's done, I'm gonna Im import labels, which I'm gonna be doing before and after because it's a before and after image. If you wanted to, uh, they recommend using dates or something like that, but for my purpose, it's just before and after. Uh, make sure that the show labels is checked and you can also choose where you want to start the slider I'm going to start mine right in the middle just make it 50 50 so now that we have that done what you want to do is preview it real quick and yep that works how I want to publish now we get two links we have the share link which we can go ahead and view that real quick if you want to just brings you to this page and yeah, everything looks good. Just a nice larger image. Go ahead and close that out. Now what we really need is the embedded iframe code. So just go ahead and copy all of that. Move over to your Adobe portfolio. Once you're in the portfolio, just go ahead wherever you want to paste this. Most likely your projects. I'm going to post mine in my Antigua. Go ahead and click the plus sign. Now we're going to go to embedded. Go ahead and click that and just paste your embedded. Now before we do this, uh, just go ahead and look at the height. It's already set to 4,000, which is going to be way too much. I feel like we should probably bring that down just a little bit, maybe to like 850, and let's see how that looks. Yep, looks good. Nice little border underneath, and the slider works. Now we can update the site. Back to editor. And now let's preview it. And yep, everything works good on the live site. And that's how you do it. If there are any more questions that you want answered, please post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them about the Adobe portfolio.